In this video, I am going to show you how to get the column letter in Google Sheets. So sometimes when you are working in a spreadsheet, you may want to be able to get the column letter for a given column number. To do this, uh, we have to create our own custom formula by combining two functions together. And so what we will end up with is a function where you can input a column number and it will return the column letter. So the first function we need to learn is the address function. This is the basic syntax of the address function. The first argument is row. This is just the row number of the cell reference. And then the second argument is column. And this is just the column number of the cell reference. And so A is column 1, B is column 2, um, C is column 3, and etc. And then the third argument that we're going to use in this function is absolute relative mode. Um, basically what this just does is it specifies um, the absolute mode of your cell reference. So it's going to be set to 1 by default. Um, what we want to use is 4, which is row and column relative. So all the address function does is it outputs a cell reference. So if I do 114 here in this function, this is cell A1 because it is row um, column 1, essentially, row 1. Um, if I come down here, 2, 4, see it's B1, 3, 4, D1, sorry, 3, 4 is C1, 4, 4 is D1. So the first argument is row, so every return result here is row 1, um, because I'm staying at 1, and then the second argument is column. So I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then the four here at the end is just specifying um, that we want row and column relative. You can see if I change this, it's going to start taking um, absolute references. But that's not what I want. For this, I want four. So we are using the address function to get the column letter. But now what I want to do is I want to remove the number from here. I want to remove the row and I just want to be left with the column letter. So the address function is only used to get the column letter. And then we have to use the substitute function to remove the row and just return the column letter. So if you've never used the substitute function, there's three arguments. First is um, your string, and then it's text to replace, and then replace with. So what you do is um, you put the cell reference to the string that you want to substitute part of for, and then the second argument, you put the text that you want to replace, and then you put what you want to replace with. So in this example, I'm going to take the cell address. First, I'll do the substitute function. I'll take the cell address, and what I want to do is I want to replace the 1 with an empty. So I just put two quotation marks because I'm basically not replacing it with anything. It's just going to be empty. And you can see that takes this cell address and removes the number here, the one, and just returns a letter. So that's the substitute function. Now to combine them together to use one formula that will convert a column number to a column letter, this is what you have to do. So we're basically combining them um, using them the exact same ways as I covered previously. So I had the substitute function, and then inside the substitute function, 
I have the address function. So the address function is going to be one for row one, and then it is going to be the cell that has your column number, and then we're doing four for relative row and column. And so that is going to be the first argument of my substitute function. So this is what we end up replacing the text in. And so I'm replacing the one with an empty. And you can see all this does now is it will take a column number and you will re be returned to column letter. So if I change this now, my letter will change corresponding to whatever row I am in. So that is how you get the column letter. You have to create a function combining substitute and address that will convert column numbers to column letters. So hopefully you understand that and you've been following along this whole time. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.